Hello everybody, and this is feedback for quiz 7.1 form A. If you So look in the top right hand corner of your quiz, and if it says A, you're good to go. If it says B, turn back, go to a different video. Anyway, so basic level. Uh, basic level is going to be worth 7.5 points in the end. So just be aware of that. Um, we want to find the X and Y components and determine the magnitude and direction of each, each component. So first thing you need to do is draw your vector or draw your um, triangle. A lot of people got this part at least partially wrong. Um, let's see. 15 degrees and 55 meters per second. You needed to have the arrows, try changing colors here, you needed to have these arrows pointing in these directions. Your arrows should always go tip to tail. Okay, the only time that they're going to go tip to tip is right here at the end. But when you're drawing your components, they should always go tip to tail. Think about this as start and this is finish. Okay, you have to go to the right and then up in order to get from start to finish. Okay, so a lot of people got that wrong, um, but so I just wanted to say that. Um, for the X component, um, you would do, so this is X, this is Y. The X is just going to be the cosine of 15 degrees equals, um, if you think about cosine, it's the ka part of Sokotoa, so adjacent over hypotenuse, which would be x, x over 55 meters per second. So then in the end, we end up with 55 times the cosine of 15 degrees, and then you should have gotten um, 53.1 meters per second for your answer for the x direction. And then for the y direction, we just have the same thing, but um, sine is so in Sokotoa, so opposite, so the y this time. Um, and so we've got the sine of 15 degrees equals y over 55 meters per second. So you end up with 55 times the sine of 15 degrees equals, you should have gotten something close to 14.2 meters per second. Okay, and the way that the points worked on this were as follows. Triangles worth 1.5 points. The work um, over here, this is worth one point. Your numbers are worth one point, units are worth one point, and then same thing over here. Um, your work is worth one point, numbers worth one point, units are worth another point. Now for your work, all that you had to show is this. If you showed the other stuff too, that's fine, um, but that would get you your seven and a half points. Meets level. Um, very straightforward. You just have to draw your triangles to get or draw your arrows together, tip to tail again. And then your resultant, this would be your 10 newtons, this would be your 40 newtons, and then this is what we're going to solve for, okay? Um, this will be, I forgot to mention, out of 1.5 points. Um, and to solve this one, you just need to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that would be 10 squared plus 40 squared equals c squared. And then you'll have to take the square root of everything in the end. Um, so we end up with um, 10 squared plus 40 squared is 1,700. But then you have to take the square root of that. And you end up with 41.2 newtons as your answer. And the way this one was scored was your triangle was worth half a point. Your work was worth half a point, And you had to show just something. Um, and then your answer is worth half a point, and you had to have your units on that. All right, 
onward to the last problem. So extends, a lot of people struggled with this. Um, so in the end, what we have is we've got four parts to this problem. We've got, we're going to travel south 20 meters, um, east 10 meters, and then this one, the um, 10 meters, 33 degrees north of east, northeast is this way, and we know that that angle is going to be 33 degrees. Okay, so that's this one. And then this last one, we've got um, 45 degrees northwest or north of west. So we've got here and the angle is 45 degrees and this would be five meters and this would be 10 meters. Okay, so what you have to do is split this into X and Y components, split this into X and Y components. This is just in the X direction. The X direction is 10 meters and the Y direction would be zero meters. Okay, and then for this one, similar, um, the Y direction is negative 20 meters and the X direction is zero. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this, make it look better. So y direction on this one is zero. X direction would be positive 10 meters. Okay. Then we're going to do sine, cosine, and tangent to find the directions for this one and this one. I'm not going to go through that on the screen. I'm just going to put the answer on the screen here shortly. All right. And changing colors here. So what we've got now is we've got the x component of this first triangle is 8.39 meters and the y is 5.45. I just did the sine and cosine of the of what we had there. Um, and then for the other triangle, very similar, got 3.45 and 3.45. Now, the important piece is knowing that x is pointing in the positive direction. So this is going to be a positive value. Same for the y for this one because it's going up. The x direction for this triangle is going to be negative because it's pointing in the negative direction and positive for that one. Then we have to add up the X and Y components. So I'm gonna go back to this guy right here. The X component for that one was positive 10 meters. The Y component was zero meters. Um, this one is in the X component is zero meters and the Y component is negative 20 meters. Now this one is in the x direction, positive 8.39 meters, and in the y direction, positive 5.45 meters. And then this one, in the x direction, we've got negative 3.54 meters and positive 3.54 meters. Add each of those up, and we end up with, in the x direction, 14.85 meters, and in the y direction, 11.01 .01 meters. Of course, you add those up. And then we now have a triangle that's pointing down 11.01. .01, and then to the right, 14.85 meters. And so we want to find the final resultant. So we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we end up with... Um, 11.01 squared plus 14.85 squared. Take the square root of that, and our final answer would be 18.5 meters.